boys. You got Look Bobo going up against Ro right mm -hmm. now. That's my boy. I love Bobo. Bobo, Bobo like Bobo's I was snake. saying. Like, oh, I'm sorry, like you were saying, how you play Toon Link in a different style because, like, that character has that ability to be played in so many different styles. Same with Snake. I love the way Bubble plays Snake. It's so satisfying. It's very, like, footsies heavy. A yes. very footsies heavy Snake. But speaking of footsies, uh, we're going to see a little bit of an absence of that. We got we got Pelka and Kiwi going up against Light and Dawn. And yes. they did take it 3 1 in winners. And we got it on Town and City. Yep, Kiwi and Pelka. I've seen these guys. Last time I saw them was at the. Um, the Vortex Monthly, Ooh. and beautiful team. Kiwi and Pelka are such a phenomenal duo, and Kiwi rocking the, the Pac-Man always. Uh, great Pac-Man, really, really heavy set on uh, on Galaga combos and things like that. But you see, see no Hydrant quite yet. Not, you're absolutely right, and you would think it would, but I guess maybe yeah. it's like Hydra's not, maybe a better single soul than a double soul? Or maybe she just needs like spots to set, set it up. I think it's because of the fact that it can push your opponent, your, your teammate away too, might kind of discombobulate them a little bit. That's I get fair. it, I get it. So putting on a ledge right there is super smart, but look at that, look at that. Kiwi's first stock gone, and not good, not Kiwi, but Pelka's first stock gone and dusted. The snake is kind of devious mm -hmm. in dubs though. If you're not with that C4. Mm -hmm. And it's just it's scary, and Dawn landed right on top of it, but Pelka not blowing it up. Doing right. good stuff here. Kiwi getting the back throw, of course, on a ledge. But of course, TNC can be living, li living a little bit longer as well. Oh, the but the up tilt go crazy. <laughs> Light came in for like the perfect punish and just got denied with that up tilt. I mean, snake up tilt when you're 100. Same rules as Fox. If you're at over 100%, I'm going to up tilt you. Yep. And it's, it's, it's going to work out and you're going to die for it. Now, again, TNC has that beautiful uh, ability to be three, three separate stages platform list, two platforms, and tri plat. So. We are at an FD like platform right now, which is at, which pack should be kind of cooking a little bit. Absolutely. I would say I feel like it, it pack works better for that in like you know, singles. Yes. Just because like the, the space they can prevent, they can like hover and prevent you from going around. When there's two people navigating that space, pack can kind of just like, oh, what do I do? I, I'll spin like a cheese ball, I guess. <laughs> As we see right there. All right, kicking the, the hydrant, trying to interrupt the combo that light was uh, kind of nothing on Kiwi right there, uh, on Pelka right there, but slightly um slightly behind on it, unfortunately. I like the way like the way Kiwi is zoning. She's just stuffing them out with just like qu like the quick fruit. Yes. Very good. It's very You're late. right. She plays a very or they play a very back up kind of vibe. Like and I, I really appreciate that. Definitely. So Dawn struggling to get back to stage right now. Light immediately to the rescue. Okay, you saw the Oto come out again. Or she just suddenly whiffed it and Kiwi pick up the slack, boom, bam, bop, light on his last stop. I must suck being light, because you're always going to be the target. Mm -hmm. You will always be the, I'm going to get you first, out of here. Oh, Kiwi dying to her own hydrant. You hate to see it. That is very hate tough. hate to see it. Big damage going on. Pelka is just hanging back, throwing, these, throwing all these grenades and even mortars. I'm trying to charge up Nikita as well, but, you know, Dawn on top of it, as always. This Mario, of course, we haven't been talking about it too often, but this Mario's been living very long, getting really good combos as well. And it's kind of wrecking out the percentage for Light can kind of, so Light can um, just finish it out and make it done dusted. Look at that. Kiwi done. And Snake at 122%. Light's chilling. Yep. Uh, unable to get that. It's good job for Pelka, but it's all she wrote there. It happened. It be how it do, and it do how it be. Bro chilling. Yeah, he's not worried at all. They're just yeah. looking at stuff like, we might get the reset. They might get the reset. We might see up to 10 games right now for this best of five. It's five. it's kind of crazy. 10 games in this kind of, for this match? That would be something I would like to see. Because I also, because I wasn't here, I was, you know, parking. When, <laughs> <laughs> when Winner's Finals did go on. So I was like, I want to see how, the, like, these guys, you know, 3 one Someone that has light in it, you know, like light—a very phenomenal, uh, like the phenomenal fox player, the fox of all time, truly. And no one ever do it like him. No, and ain't no one gonna do it like him. Bro got it. But while our uh, our players are, you know, discussing bands, of course, going to Kalos, we do have on the on our beautiful, beautiful squad stream setup right here. We have uh, Bobo and Ro again right here. Robin versus Snake. That's an interesting map. Oh my God, two snakes. Robin. And we have Greg and J Dash. Uh, not Slowly, might be closing it out really soon for uh, for uh, for um, Greg right there. Yeah, Jada's not doing too good. He's having mm -hmm. a hard time taking the stock on Samus. Samus, uh, hate this flow chart of this character. But, anyways, but we're back at it. Yes, and are in the law in the big stage of Pokemon Kalos. This is also a phenomenal pack and snake stage. It's Absolutely. so you have so many uh, 
space at your disposal. You have the, the pillar platform so no one can go really under or like evade you. It's just what we're we gonna see here. We're, it's it's tough. it's tough. It's like it's an. I feel like this day is also like very anti Fox. Yes. <laughs> you see light over there. He knows it's anti Fox. He's like, nah, I'm not gonna interact. I'm gonna exactly. y'all to come over me over to me and I'm gonna use my aerials. Exactly. I'm gonna run in. You want me to like come in on this stage? Like, come on, now. I can't do my fox combos. I have to like run in against like Snake and Pac Man. Like, that's that's a death sentence. Yeah, it's it's, it's definitely very difficult out here for uh, for fox players. But the Mario, we got of course the, church, uh, the water completely charged up and dusted. But the bell, the slice on the bell was enough to kind of deter him from getting anything started. And Ooh, up to Ooh, up in that force double mask, kill. like making sure he cleans up house. Absolutely, double kill right there for yellow team. But we should be seeing a, uh, hopefully, a uh, a comeback right now because there's just a high percentage of that. Look, F tilt taking that one right then and there. And nice. There we go. Uh, I knew like 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 was gonna lose his stock to like something very quickly. I just didn't know how. And most of all, right now, like still keeping the offense going on. Boom! Look at this. This is this is chaotic. I feel like everyone's just trying to get whatever hits in they can because like the snake grenades are just kind of just it's it's the hidden factor. That makes this set like it can make the set either go very good or just very piss poor for these two. I love the spacing that they are enforcing on that right side. They are not approaching. They're like, we're going to use our projectiles and we're going to make you guys approach us if you want to do anything. You're going to gain more percentage. And just just like that, we're finally at an even game again. Kiwi, not not afraid to just throw Fox out onto the stage right there and not interact with him whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Did he just he just sticky Kiwi? I hope he recognized that he's sticky Kiwi. Or key recognize it. Someone got to recognize it. And it was on Mario! And they, they oh, lived. Oh, that was huge! <laughs> Kiwi's That's huge. so alive! Kiwi was like, I can DI that. I'm good. I'm big chillin'. Big chillin'. This cheese ball got some weight to it. Check me out. Ooh, now that I gotta get yet. off on this ledge. Very tough. Good C4 explosion. Kiwi managed to get back, but like oh reaction God, time is not reaction. human. The The reaction time was crazy. Already had that, that roll. Red and dusted with the, with the up smash. Love that for light. And now we're slowly getting back to more of an even game. This guy get the snake to be more even with everyone else. But Kiwi holding it down, trying to get her, her teammate back on deck right here. Yeah, making a very it was, and still doing a very good job too. Like keeping both of them just like off me, off her, and just like away from the ledge at the same time. Oof! I see the vision, Kiwi. I definitely see the vision. I see Ki Kiwi is keeping this a stacker, everyone. I love it. Oh, that and was the bell. amazing! That's huge. That's absolutely humongous, actually. Mario against Snake and Pac-Man. Pac-Man and Snake can literally just disengage whenever they want, and Mario has to hold that. Yep. So he has fire to land against these two. Mm -mm. Impossible. Impossible. And they know, and they know they have the little convergence going on. Oh, oh my God! Wait, wait, that was gonna be amazing. <laughs> Okay, it didn't the matter. Read, so, read right. Yeah, go ahead, bestie. So you see, like, like, Pelka went over to Kiwi, put that C4 on him, and yep. said, "Go, hold go. down the neutral." Charged him with the, charged him with the, like the pack test, whatever, and he was gonna blow him up, right and right as he connected. That would have been amazing. That would have been fire. But we had different plans for today. We are seeing. I'm slowly seeing why you know, um, Kiwi and Pelka took like that uh, that first winner set. 3-1. Like, Their synergy is absolutely insane. I loved watching them when I went to CT, I think I think last month or so. I was just like, Pack and Snake, okay. And then I, I saw game one, I was like, oh, they're cooking. Oh, oh. Crazy. They're good. So I definitely see why we have them in over here in Winner's Final. Or even Grands. I'm going to say Winner's Final score. So Grand Finals Grands. on Winner's Side. It's, it's beautiful. They're they're playing. They're like their setups, their traps, a little conversions, all that. It's just like it's a treat to watch. It truly is. I really really like it. As like, someone who plays like a lot of projectile character, well, a lot. I just played too many games like and Sora. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's as cool. someone who plays like a lot of projectile characters, I love like seeing like the setups and just like what everyone can do with like each and little like interaction. It's so. Oh, it just feel, It just makes me so happy. <laughs> it's so diverse. Like you have so many options at your disposal of and how you can play. You can change up your play style if. X is not working, go to Y. Mm -hmm. If that's not working, go to Z. And you gotta go to Z, then maybe, to, maybe go back to A. And not to mention, with like the projectiles, there's just layers of so many cool things that can happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we're gonna get right back into it. Game number three on Town and City. Yeah, back over to TNC, where of course Light and Dawn did take game one into a possible, uh, the start of a possible reset. 
But hopefully, I really do hope that with the uh, with the how long the stage is, they can kind of take that they can take those basics from Kalos and apply it here as well. Absolutely, and then also like the stage has a lot more platforms, which like you know, yep. Fox and Mario both love. They both like the lateral combos, both like extending these up airs and just like putting you in like barely awful juggle situations. Yeah, this is the stage that they want. This is the stage to be if you're a Fox and you're playing these characters. Yeah, your Fox this is where you want to be. Like you are cooking so well. You see, Light is super in his moment, and even then, look how fast Poco stock is just gone. Indeed, it's that super was unfortunate. An amazing, amazing reflector. Fox is definitely unlocked on, on forcing it, blown up uh, Kiwi with that. Into the forward smash into Kiwi, yeah. Dawn and Light just got this. This stage is really much theirs. Ooh, nice use of the angle, like angling the, uh, angling the water splash. Yeah, having um, having stage control in this matchup, I feel like is also insane because you're not you not giving an ability for for Pac-Man and the Snake to set up. Yeah, that's that's making it rough for them. As you see right here, both of them on two, all under second stock. Light and Dawn still haven't lost a single one. That's the difference. Okay, no six stock situation here, guys. But Light first stock finally gone and dusted. Dawn chilling with 137%. That's Rage building up. You saw the... I love that! Mm. I saw the vision. Jumped right up into the tornado. Didn't really miss it, but got really high coverage off of that. Very much so. Oh, he be trying to go and end Light stock early. The coverage from these two, and they're still, they're not out of the woods yet. They're still fighting very hard. Absolutely, and with Snake having Rage build up as well, I think that if what we can see is Poka maybe taking it a little bit slower game for themselves, and just utilize exactly use the explosives, utilize Nade, utilize C4 or C9. Sorry. Oh my God! Look like, at it that. It just works. I love the, I love the explosions, and oh, now Spotlight being the one to lose his, to be on his last knock first. That Not back throw on that still? platform. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and that was crazy. Top? The DI oh. check in itself, if, if you ask me. Alright, like I said, look, that uh, that snake, Helka, definitely taking it much slower and just kind of not interacting as often as they would be. Snake is, of course, heavy, so we should be living a bit longer, but you're not living to that up to at over 100%, you know better. You know better, absolutely. Nice job, both of them just still hanging on. Both of them on the last stop, though, Pelka being the one to, like, stock tank. And Pelka has to, for, for the sake of the duo, has to keep it a buck with them because Kiwi is right here between a rock and a hard place, truly, for a second there. Elka taking their sweet time. You don't want to get Fox out smash. I see Aaron, uh, I'm sorry, I see Light definitely uh, working towards <laughs> it. But teammate comes in clutch. And now Aaron. notice how, like, <laughs> see how the pace of this game has changed? But Light and Dawn were the ones who were in the lead. And now look at that. Pelka and Kiwi are the ones that's taking sweet control of this game. Kiwi also, like, Woo! very close to dying on that stock. So it was Light for a second there. You saw that Elto come out with a quickness, but Kilthor coming in clutch into the double up air, into a double up air, and that might be not it. Not it, not it thank God. Pelka, uh, very happy to snake the heavy boy. Eats his steak and potatoes. Yo, bro be eating real good. Oh my god, but this is so scary. Like, the these ceiling on this stage is not... It's, it's big, thank god, but it's like, yo, life up smash is getting dangerously close to killing. Next one will take the stock. This is a last hit situation for both teams. Whoever stock to get taken first, it might be like, Jover. It's Jover. It's Jover. Light has he's so careful right now. If he can get something crazy, but he's not going to because guess what? Spacing. They're staying very far away, and they go in. I don't know why. Well, has to be very careful where he picks his spots. Look at look at this. Okay, beautiful use of his approaching into the throw. Hey! Yeah, oh, uh -oh. nice. I like, the, I, like the, I like the vision. I see it. The pressure is crazy. And light is just not coming in. <laughs> uh, bro does not want to approach. It's like y'all. What's y'all selling over there? Oh, y'all selling. The key is in hand and the two and frame. The stanky leg with the astro Ooh, boy boots. <laughs> <laughs> no, what the what the red boost that we released in that one company? The Astro Ast Boy boost, that's it, man. Uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's what they're called. I, I don't know, I'm calling it the Astro Boy boost. Oh, the Astro Boy boost is definitely <laughs> coming in clutch right there. Let's go, Kiwi coming in clutch to get that two frame. Boom, bam, Bob, you're not recovering to this light, to this, to this light, to this stage light. Game number three going over to the, this part of the New England team. Uh, is Falcon New England? I don't. I think. I believe so. I think so. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, boom. See, if you're like me, you just say CT. CT. But I, I don't know which part. I know Kiwi CD, but I don't think Pelka is. I think Pelka's. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm like thinking through my head because I know it's New England. It's not New Hampshire. It's not Vermont. It's either Mass, Rhode Island. It's either Massachusetts or Rhode Island. 
You know, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna hurt my brain thinking about this. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Like maybe I. I do not know. I cannot hold you. I do wish I could. I could, I could come out to CT more often. It's just. It's tough. College life and work life. I felt that. But we are starting up on deck. Are they? Oh, they are starting. Yes, it is. This is game number three on the game number four on Battlefield. We're over here, game number, game four, possibly the last game of the night if Kiwi and Pelka get another win for the for the numbers. But look at this. Very good. They both. I love how like Kiwi and Pelka like have each other's back all the damn time. They always. I love. I love the both teams. You, you see why both of them are in grands right now. They have that synergy that a lot of dub teams lack. Where like they're seeing, oh my team is getting a, a little bit shambled over here. Let me come in and help them out. Or they just had that the, those combos down packed. It's beautiful to watch from, from both teams, not just like one-sided. This, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what we call synergy. Synergy. <laughs> it's so cool. Synchronization. <laughs> oh my god. Woo, also that's getting one stock going out. Snakes up till one of the most active moves I've ever seen in this, in this game's life, man. Super fast, super hard hitting. Like, you cannot get caught locking on those platforms for either team. You have Fox out smash being a threat, and you have Snakes up till being a threat. Yeah, it's definitely scary. Like this stage is actually working out for both teams. Now that I think about it, especially like, especially Snake. Hold on, this is Snake's best stage. What am I talking about here? Oh no, accidentally killing Kiwi. Mm, unfortunate, but I can see this definitely coming back. We saw in game, I believe three, where uh, Green Team definitely lead for a hot minute, and then suddenly it flip flopped into Pelka and Kiwi's favor mm -hmm. because of the fact that Pelka slowed it down a lot for themselves. So I want to see that slow that, that slowish playstyle come back. Yeah, I want to see right. something couldn't happen. Dawn actually knocking on that. Well, they both of them are living at a very to a high percent, but just like I need them to make something happen with this range of theirs. You know, this is definitely a, a percent where like anyone can explode, especially Pelka right now on a second stop. Very good job making the recovery, but oh, unable no. to get the extra. But we're fine. still living. It's still living. Yeah, it's, you're fine. It's you're snake. fine. It's snake. You're snake. You're literally snake. All right, the setup right here. You got a C4 on the ground right there, and oh. Don fighting for his life. Yeah, Don does not want to die today. I want, they're both at such high percent. They're in the deep ride right now. Like, oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> a weak hit back here. It doesn't matter if it's weak. That, that's you at 174%. You going. Goodbye. Oh, oh no. It'd be your own hydrant sometimes. All right, Kiwi can definitely come back from this. Love the use of the Nair off, uh, from the from the ledge. Yeah, and now coming to Pelka's rescue, giving Pelka some breathing room, a chance to get off the ledge. The Definitely. pressure right now is insane. Like, both from wanting to win and also just the fact that these projectile characters are really working right now and keeping it really even, even even, even a little bit more of an advantage if, with Dawn lacking a stock. Not to mention, they've lapped, they've lapped him, like, totally. Dawn has to be very careful how he gets past this. And not gonna, I don't want him getting cheesed and then Lightly just having to make like such an insane potential Ooh, comeback. Huge. Very good up smash. Alright, pretty much even stocks per uh, per her team right now, but what I think what we really want to do is focus on light. Having two socks is not gonna be really fun playing as uh, playing as Fox. I also I, don't, I want them like yeah, focus on light trooper. I want to focus on Don. He's ready on the he's ready on his last stock as well. Yeah, and oh, and also very good at cleaning up socks too. Clean dare. All right, this is clean. I see Snake coming back on stage. We're gonna be setting up a nade on the platform right there to avoid an error recovery, and you can't be hit by your own nade. You get to see it. C4 is on the platform right there. Still right there, chilling. I've got to be careful not to blow his own self up. Uh-oh, I'm seeing the vision. I definitely almost see. Almost got folded by a light upper, but a very quick up tip will clean that sock up. I thought uses his own up smash in a second. I can I can feel it. Oh, yeah, no. Pelka's knocking on death's door. Or we can get a weak hit dash attack into the back air. It's Kiwi by her lonesome. Kiwi, wait. This may be doable. This is, this, I can definitely see it, see it happen. Like... Don is wisely being the one with the high percentage, staying all the way back. We have, uh, we are fully charged up on our special, on our special, our special attack right here. But oh like, my god! Okay. <laughs> Kiwi with the jump scare of a grab. That's exactly exact what she did. Just come over here. Slurping it up. The pressure on ledge right now is crazy. You're covering everything by just having two people covering uh, roll-ins, covering trigger, covering get-up attack, covering aerials. It's just, what what are we gonna do here? Yeah. Just, I think that, I think that Kiwi just okay. went to a blast zone. There's no point trying to like, we were drag still, that We on. were still in the startup of Shine right there, so like. Okay. <laughs> See, that, that, that was tough. That was tough. It, it's tough, you know. It, 
when you're seeing that you're not getting, you're not even getting on stage, it's like, all right, let's go back to, into a game five. Um, this is reset opportunity right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or it could be the final game of dubs. Potentially, from the way. Potentially. Uh, it could definitely go like either or. It's Both of these guys are super talented. Both teams, very, very strong, like, presence, very strong pressure. Oh, absolutely. Neither of them make it easy to, to snatch each other's stock. Or just, like, you know, the 2v1 situation. We don't see that many of them. Hey, sorry to interrupt. I'm live right now. Hi. Hi. I just want to ask, are you guys casting after the doubles have finished? I would think so. We don't know. Okay, never mind. Can we ask Dill? I feel like we should ask Gerd. Well, Dill's coming over. She has contact with Gerd, so... But, otherwise, we're here as long as the convention will let us be here. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly okay with that. When they when they say cast a swap, that's when I leave. Until yeah. then, I'm casting a lot of forever. As far <laughs> as I know, I'm casting the entire thing. So, you know, like... Well, listen, man, listen, man, <laughs> as far as I'm aware. No problem with that, you know? Like, I, got no to talk about, I got to talk about more Smash? Like, come on now. Come on now. Come on, I'll be for real. Casting Smash, Chef's Kiss. Oh, it's beautiful. It's lovely, even. <laughs> And speaking of casting other game things, we do have a bunch of other games going on. I see a bunch of CRT TVs hooked up over here. That is Melee. And then it's like, I, I got, think it's like a free space so people can bring yep. their like retro games to to play. Which is so cool. We have PC subs over here, I believe. We have MK11 in the back over here. We, we have, have Melee. We got Fortnite over here. We got Fortnite. Yeah, all, all, all the little ones are over oh, there. Oh, that's Melty Blood now. Oh. Yep, they got Melty Blood setups over there right next to Mortal Kombat. Um, lots of stuff going melty. on. Lots of stuff going oh, on today. Lob. I hate that character. That character's cheese. Vlog, I'm trying to see the Vlog and Wark. Nah, never mind. I'm good. Bro. Yeah, I guess MK11 ended. I don't know who won. I hope the Scarlet. I hope the the Scarlet Katana main won because they were kind of cooking all, all throughout bracket. But back to our game at hand. A game five, ladies and gentlemen. A possible reset or a possible winner in dubs over here at CT GamerCon. But before all that, we got seven minutes to go. Let's sit here and look pretty on TNT. Let's see what's going on right here, right now. And they starting off strong. Kiwi, not Kiwi, uh, Pelka at a fat 64 percent percent to keep climbing. We can't even say. Door, man. Bro is a, but thankfully heavy character. Snake do be kind of heavy. Bro has muscles for days and should be living a little bit longer. But I think again, uh, we should be seeing Pelka kind of adopt a very laid back style, um, relatively quickly, unless unless like keeps you know just keeps knocking him over and over and over again. I think you can actually see my emotions this time. It's so nice. <laughs> Oh, but the pressure is insane. Yes, it is. They always have, like, they never have, like, a really strong start. Like, you never see, like, Pelka and Kiwi get, like, the, the lead at the beginning. Yeah, no. It's always, like, they have to pick it up. It's a respect of it all. It's <laughs> a principle. And I know the C4 is in play. I just don't know who has it. And it was oh, on time. <laughs> and that's a first dog on and dusted. You see Pelka using those that really high blast zone to just chill it for a really long while and activate whenever possible. I love that game plan. But Kiwi's first lock is gone, and Lay should be, you know, following really quickly on Dawn if we were able to kind of, you know, capitalize on the opportunity. Yeah, I love the way Light makes use of that reflector. Very clean, just like sending the, the hydrant right back. And now we have Pelka sitting on the ledge with him. But Kiwi, you know, coming in, throwing in the Astro Boy boots, saying, yo, you gotta be wearing these. They do a lot of damage. Don come back on stage, going in with the tornado back up to you know contest any kind of aerial recovery option. Again. And again, love the pressure, love the use of this. You just get everyone off of each other. Just everyone's gonna hit. Don't everyone's me. Hit. Everyone's gonna hit. Uh, no, no for once, no for once. Everyone gets hit. Everyone gets smacked up. And Don again they're getting jump scared by the C4. Because like Pelka keeps putting it onto Kiwi. And then when Kiwi goes in and starts scrapping, you don't know where the C4 is at. <gasps> the foot stool? And he couldn't recover. Because he was in the middle of a Lay That's tough. You're smart. You're a big brain, actually. I have never said any that you're, you got it. That was really smart. So it's a soft simple full stool, and that, that, that takes Pelka out. But thankfully, you know what? High percentage is not that much of a loss. Mm -hmm. um, it's however, not too bad. But that's not good. And now Light that's finally also not losing his first stock. Three stocks, three stocks for the team, for the green team. And meanwhile, yellow team is just chilling with like four in total. But this could be gone very quickly. Kiwi's percent is over 100. Have to be very careful. She's bit bold approaching Mario while he's chilling on that platform. Oh my yeah. god, oh, you know she's what? cooking! She's cooking because it's a platform right next to the blast zone. That's where Pac-Man likes to be. They're going to put pressure with that with the Hydrant. We're going to be pressuring with any projectile we have. I understand Kiwi's mentality, and it's working beautifully against Don. Don's going to lose the stock very quickly, and we're going to get a, a restock. And that's going to be one stock apiece very soon. I see it. I'm literally raving some And he's gone. 
Reset. He doesn't. Yeah, there it is. But he's, he hesitated. He just needed to just take it really quick. He hesitated. Yeah. I think he wanted to take advantage of a longer invincib invincibility time. I, I can understand that. I, I can get that. that. And but light right now, unfortunately, doesn't have the backup of extra stock. He is now the one in peril, and we don't. Oh, the jab lock into the. Oh, God, he's oh doing the big drag combos. Down. Okay. Oh, and then he cleans up. He said he's not about to attack in this one. Hold on, catch this back here. Catch this back here. Oh, catch his favorite fast. Catch his favorite fast. Look at me. I'm literally light. They want the reset so bad, but look at the percentage difference. It's getting scary out here. It can Kiwi definitely happen though. Both of these characters are very explosive, very big combos on these two, and the kill powers, they're not shy of that either. No, they're definitely not. Don over here. But unfortunately, Kiwi falling out of the up airs that Don was trying to enforce on her right there. But the pressure with the fireballs is definitely starting to get pick, pick up the pace a little bit more. And but the back is. air is gonna take it. This 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 could be looking like Pokemon Kiwi's game. And, and it right there into the is. up tilt game. Five. Game five, Snake up till comes to save the day, ladies and gentlemen. Kiwi and Palka taking it over Light and Dawn in a very, very hard uh, best of five. That was an amazing game five. That was an amazing set to just watch in general. Seeing the trap, seeing just like the pit, the back and forth, the combinations from both teams. Oh my Beautiful. god, that and was a treat. Here it is. Double eliminated by the same team, I believe. So it's just, mm -hmm. they got it. It got way closer in, in, in grands, but... That's Grands, that's Dobbs done and dusted with our winners being Snake and, and, and Pac-Man. Y'all, the download low-key is Snake Pac-Man. Oh, absolutely. Low-key. <laughs> low-key, a lot of new dubs. But as we speak, of course, we do have singles going on right now. As we speak, you see uh, Mr. B versus Greg up here. Greg up a game with the Samus and Lucina. Hi, Lucina. The and enemy I, of Peppa Pig. Not, not the hashtag Collision 2023. Grah. Oh, wow. Hey. <laughs> Grah. But right now singles is going on as we speak um, um i think from my other matches i saw going on we had uh bobo versus